What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Halo Infinite video. Today we're going to be talking about my top three changes that I'd like to see in Halo Infinite. Now as a preface, I am absolutely loving this game. I play it pretty much every single night for way too long. Been having an absolute blast. I think it's such a great game and they released it a month early out of nowhere. So nothing but good things to say, nothing but praise. But these are just three little things that I think would make the game just a little bit better. Now, there's no script or anything. I just have a couple of notes and I got some gameplay going on in the background for you guys. So sit back and let's go over these three changes I'd like to see. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is a, a very small change, but I think it would be really nice. It is putting your teammates medals into the kill feed. So I think it would be really cool to see like if your teammate goes on a killing spree or gets a triple kill or something like that. I believe overkill does appear in the kill feed. But I think like little things like killing sprees and stuff like that would be really nice to add into the kill feed just so you can see if like your teammates are crushing it, you know? Also, if there could be like a little voice line, maybe the actual Spartan that your teammates playing says something like, I'm on a spree or anything like that. I think those little ways to just immerse you a little bit more and just to root for your team a little bit more, you know? Like if you see on the kill feed, like so-and-so on your team is on a killing spree, you'll be like, oh, let's go. We're crushing it right now. And it'll it'll boost your confidence in the game and it'll make that match a little bit more exciting, you know? It could also be helpful in like 4v4 sweat modes. If you see that your teammate got a triple kill and like it says teammate got a triple kill, it's like, okay, we could either push for the flag right now, we could push for the oddball, whatever the case is. I think in that situation, a little bit of like dialogue or some kind of thing in the kill feed goes a long way and could help a lot of teams out, especially when there's not that much communication going on. And if you are playing with your friends, you could see them going on a killing spree in the kill feed and you can like cheer them on. And that's absolutely awesome because when I'm playing with my friends, they always got to be like, oh, I'm on a killing spree. I'm like, yeah, no, you're not. But if it popped up in the kill feed, then, you know, clearly they are and there's nothing I can say about it and I can just cheer them on. And now the next one, it's kind of hard to complain about this because I do know that they dropped this game a month early and they kind of just surprised everybody. So I am just happy to be playing Halo Infinite, but... I would love to be able to select game modes. I think this is on the top of everybody's list. The first couple of days or the first week or so, I had no problem just jumping into quick play, playing all the brand new game modes. I actually like that they did that because I found that I absolutely love Strongholds. I probably wouldn't have played too much of Strongholds, which is kind of like the domination from Call of Duty style game mode where there's three flags and you got to cap them. I probably would have never selected that. I probably would have gone to Oddball and Slayer and maybe a little bit of Cap the Flag here and there. So I don't really mind that they did Quick Play because it, it showed me all these new game modes. It put me on all these different maps. So I really didn't have been enjoying the Quick Play component. But I think now after a week or so, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, okay, I just want to play Oddball. I mean, the other night me and my friend were playing and all we wanted to do was play Oddball together and we did not get Oddball the whole night. Every single game was either Slayer, CTF, Strongholds. Didn't get Oddball once. But then on the flip side of things, when Oddball does come up, you know, it's like that, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's that excitement that you got it. But still, I think it's time that we uh, were able to select some game modes. And now branching off of that, this is still kind of under the game modes category. I would really like to see Team SWAT specifically. This is completely biased. This is all from me as a Halo fan over the past like 20 years. I would love SWAT in this game. I mean, the game is so crisp. But if they introduced SWAT, oh, it'd be so good. SWAT has always been my favorite game mode. And if they were to bring that into this game, I don't know how it would play out, honestly, with how all the weapons work and the commando, the battle rifle, the sidekick, the way all these weapons work and the movement is all much different. But I think SWAT would be so much fun. I at least want to try it. I at least want to try SWAT in this game. So if they were to add SWAT, that's like the number one thing on my list. Please, I would love to play Team SWAT. And then the last thing in the game mode section is fun weekend style game mode or playlists. This being here, of course, Griff Ball or... The best part about Halo 3 back in the day was Action Sack. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was like the most random, bizarre, fun, custom game style matches just in a playlist. And it was so much fun. And we would just sit in Action Sack for hours and hours. Of course, Griff Ball being number one. Listen, if they do Griff Ball weekend, I don't have anything else to ask for. I know I mentioned SWAT, but if we have Griff Ball weekends, I'm there and I'm playing all weekend. You know, I would love that. But I think some kind of party style game mode or playlist would be a ton of fun. I think it would give the developers a lot of time to have a lot of fun with different game modes and they could pull from custom games and do different things like that. But that's pretty much it for game modes. Just SWAT, being able to select your game mode if you want to play like Oddball or CT, and then fun weekend style stuff where you don't really have to sweat and you can just have a good time jumping into a 4v4 Griff Ball or something of that nature. And now my last point in terms of things I would like to see change goes over to the customization side of things. And this is where there's been some changes that, I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to them, you know? Clearly they did this for a reason, so maybe I'm just not used to it yet. But the first and foremost thing is going to be that you can't really mix and match armor. So for example, let's say I really like the Mark V armor core. I really like the way the body looks and I like the chest pieces and stuff. But what I also really like is, I don't know, the Trailblazer helmet. I cannot put this Trailblazer helmet 
on the Mark V. On the Mark V, I'm only allowed these helmets, which don't get me wrong, they're all great helmets and shout out to Recon Helmet, but you cannot take a different Armor Core helmet and put it onto another Armor Core. And to me, that's a little weird. You know, I feel like in Halo, it's always been about customizing your Spartan and it seems like they're taking a big leap with customizing, I mean, look at this. Like, you get some really cool stuff. This is going to be coming up in the Tenrai event, which is actually going to be out tomorrow if you're watching this video today. But yeah, I'm not sure why they did it. I think they just wanted to make it more, like, specific and, like, maybe more lore-heavy. Again, not too sure why they did it. It's always been about the customization. I wish you could just unlock a helmet, have it all in one menu, all, like, you could pick through the different body type, pick through the different shoulders. Like, the shoulders is the same. If you want a Agathea shoulder on your Spartan, but you're using the Mark V, you're not allowed to get it. So that's just... That's just one of the weird things. I'm not sure why they did it. Again, maybe it's a lore thing. I just kind of wish it was all one menu, one armor, whatever helmets, chest, shoulders, whatever you want, all in one, and you can mix and match. Another thing, they switched to armor coding in this game. I didn't play too much Halo 5, so I'm not sure if this was a Halo 5 thing or not. You can let me know in the comments. But you have to pick your armor coding. And for me, what I would prefer is just like a color palette, in like in the old games. Like back then, you had a primary and a secondary, and it gave you this big grid of all different colors. And you got to kind of just sort through and choose what color you wanted for your primary and your secondary. And that's what color your Spartan was. Meanwhile, you got to mix and match as well. But in this game, it has to be the armor coding, which granted, it kind of of is the same thing but like let's say i wanted this red color and then this green color you can't do that you have to get this red color with the navy blue so it's the little things like that again i just think that if they could take customization to a point where it's all cohesive in one menu you can mix and match you have a giant color spectrum and a giant palette that you just get to pick different colors from I think that would make it a lot more interesting. But that wraps up my three changes in Halo Infinite. Again, to just reiterate, I absolutely love this game. I'm having a blast with it. These are just three little things that I'd like to see changed. I know they're taking a lot of feedback right now. So but that'll wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what three changes you guys want in Halo Infinite. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'm gonna see you all in the next one.